I've heard it said that children are the most honest barometer of how we're going as a society. When I look at what's going on with our young people today in Australia, where one in five kids under the age of 17 don't go to school or have a job, when one in four kids are suffering from mental health issues, when there's 28,000 kids sleeping rough in this country at the moment, I say that's not good enough. When I first moved back from the Territory to New South Wales, I got this job. I was supposed to get these 20 kids to finish school and get them work ready. We had one year to do it. So we got to the end of the year. Uh, one of the kids had passed away, another one went to jail. But none of them were work ready. My youth work had got to such a frustrating point in my life and that I decided to, to try something different. I was at this Christmas party uh, and I didn't really know who I was talking to. We were having a few beers uh, and I said, look, all we need to sort this problem out is a shed. About a week later, I get a phone call from this guy and he says, uh, do you remember who I am? Turns out he's the CEO of a bank. He said, I want you to meet me at this address. When I got down to this address, there was the mayor, the local member and the CEO. They had the keys to an old shed and he said, go and sort it out. It was a bit of a drama for us uh, in, in the initial stages. We had no funding, we had no business plan. So we've got this big empty shed. We need to fill it with something. Uh, at home, I've got this uh, bunch of young border collie pups that haven't had much work. And I've got a shed full of rough and tumble boys. We put the two of those together, the pups and the boys, and something magical happened. It was the first time I'd seen those wild, tough kids sit cradling these beautiful little pups, and I knew we were onto something. 13 years ago, I started a personal dream with a handful of volunteers in an empty shed. Since that day, we just kept doing whatever it took uh, to progress those young people. If they can't read and write, we teach them to read and write. If they don't have somewhere to live, we provide somewhere to live. We even built a business employing unemployable kids. We have a welding business, we have a woodwork business, we have an agricultural contract business. We're doing prevention work in schools now, and the dogs are the common denominator. Our girls program uh, take the dogs to visit old people in nursing homes. We now have dogs working in schools, trying to keep kids in school. When you see a kid that comes in that is so busted and so lifeless, and then you hang in and you do the hard yards, the parenting, the being the uncle, being the school, being the friend, being the role model, and you see them come out the other side. That's payday for us at Backtrack.